This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and I recently received a package from Ted Tooling, a company in Nevada, which sells this $400 hidden shackle padlock. This is the key to it, and it's billed as unbreakable, unpickable, and even bulletproof. Those are all pretty bold claims, but this is also a really unusual lock. As for the claims regarding physical toughness, while nothing is truly unbreakable, I'm convinced it would take an act of extraordinary violence to break. It's almost certainly tougher than whatever you are locking. As for the pick-proof claim, it's not something easy to discuss without showing you how it works. The first step of opening this is to remove this plunger, and that's done with a magnet on the back of the key. It's just friction held in place with these two O-rings. We can then see an unusual looking bolt in the bottom of that hole that is locked onto by the other side of the key. There we go, that is now locked on. And what we do is we turn it clockwise to open. That's the opposite of the direction you would normally turn a bolt. Once we do that, the shroud will come off. That reveals the shackle carrier, and we can just pull the shackle out. So essentially, all that holds this shut is a really unusual bolt that requires an equally unusual wrench. My first thought was to use a bolt extractor, which will easily grab onto the round bolt head. But this doesn't work on left-hand threaded bolts, only right-hand. In fact, I'm not even sure these are made for left-handed bolts. I would probably make one if I encountered these locks with any frequency, and I suspect it would be very effective. But in my attempt to avoid the work, I came up with a less elegant solution, but one that still seems to work. I'm going to grab the bolt head with these long duckbill pliers after first lining the jaws with a piece of sandpaper. I'm then going to turn those pliers with another set of pliers. Like I said, not very elegant, but it does work. So let's put all this back together and we'll give that a try. Okay, we need to tighten that down pretty well to make sure this is a fair test and put the plunger back in. Okay, first step is to remove the plunger. I'm just gonna do that with a regular old magnet. Then going to put a piece of sandpaper in such that it will be between the pliers and the bolt. Then grab onto the bolt. And grab onto the pliers with another pair of pliers, and hopefully this will work. Okay, we got it loose and I can just turn it out. It's loose enough, we don't need that sandpaper anymore. Okay, folks. I think the takeaway here is that if someone is prepared to encounter one of these locks and tools up appropriately, they are probably going to get in. There are lots of methods, anything from bolt extractors to even impressioning this bolt with a five minute epoxy. However, if I wasn't expecting this lock, didn't know what was inside and wasn't specifically prepared for it, I probably wouldn't get in. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.